DSP or Superintendent Cha, who is the uh, recording officer recording Mary's statement. And uh, what um, I told him just now, and I'll repeat it uh, here as my view on what's happening so far, I question him why up to now uh, Damindra was. Damindra uh, died on the 21st of May and uh, that was well within the knowledge of the police by the next day especially with the report of the forensic pathologist why up to now no police officer has been arrested for the murder of Damindra you know you simply arrest somebody as he voluntarily goes to the, to the police station here the man is dead we know he died in custody. We obviously know the names of the police officers who were responsible for the lockup. But everybody's walking around free. Uh, the, the, regrettably, the IGP has not even announced the suspension of those officers. Not even a suspension from duty. Uh, so this is where the, we repeat again. The, for serious crimes like this, actually, the police are again showing that they cannot function independently. To investigate. This is why, for many years now, we repeat the call again. Cases like this prove again, yet again, this country needs an IPCMC. Sekarang kita dapat confirmation ya, tiada anggota polis yang ditangkap, tiada anggota polis yang di suspend, digantung. Soalannya, apabila Darmindran uh, membuat laporan polis dan pergi ke balai polis, beliau ditangkap dengan segera. Okay? Isu bergaduhan kecil. Tetapi ini kes bunuh sampai sekarang tiada anggota polis yang ditangkap. Saudara uh, boleh tengok beza ni ya. Darmendren ditangkap segera. Kes kecil pergaduhan. Ini kes bunuh identiti pegawai polis diketahui tapi tiada tangkapan sampai hari ini. Walaupun dah berlalu seminggu. Saya Dr. Siu Shufeng mengesahkan Darmendren mati sebab utama kematian adalah multiple blunt force traumas signed by Dr. Siu stamped by him official document bila dokumen ni keluar 22 Mei 2013 hari ni 27 so maknanya in, melihat kepada the official um, document by Dr. Siu sudah mencukupi Okay. Ini sudah mencukupi untuk menangkap semua anggota polis yang terlibat dan mendakwa mereka di bawah Seksyen 302 Kanun Kesesaan. Akhirnya yang bertanggungjawab adalah Menteri Dalam Negeri Zaid Hamidi. Kita kecewa sampai hari ini Zaid Hamidi diam mulut. Tak buka mulut mengenai kes ini. Okay. He shut his mouth on this case until today. Zaid Hamidi bising tak habis-habis mengenai public rally mengenai kes bunuh ni di dalam lokak diam sampai hari ini